Welcome. Um, this is, module in this video is um, going to be used to show you how to use Google Chrome browser as your default browser. So once you've downloaded Chrome to your computer, it comes up much like this. Um, and there's not a whole lot of personally identifying anything. You don't have access to any of your bookmarks that you've typically had. You wouldn't have access to saved files. Um, when you click on the waffle, you have um, no access to any of your stuff. You'd have to sign in anyway. So there's two ways you can sign in. You could either go here and just enter your Gmail, but what we want to learn is how to customize our preferences. So if you go up here to Chrome and scroll down to preferences, it opens up an equally as um, anonymous settings menu. And so this is where it says sync and personalize Chrome across all of your devices. So Chrome that is on your phone or on your iPad or on your tablet, um, and it doesn't have to be Apple, but any of your devices, you can sync that across all of your devices. So I'm going to turn on sync and I'm going to go ahead and enter my password and email. And I have lots to sync from my data. You might not have a ton, but notice right up here, and it says link your Chrome data to this account, and my account is managed through IT. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and link my data so that you can see how different it is. Okay, so there's two different places to look. When you are looking right up here in this Chrome browser bar, you see my icon there, and when you click on it, then this is who I am inside of the Chrome browser. Okay, so Missy Hamilton there, and then the sync is on, and right now my passwords will be saved under whatever I have as I search there. My credit cards will be paid, and different addresses that I've scrolled to. So that is one place that you can look for login, as well as, of course, in your Google tools. Now, all of my Google tools are synced. So when I go to my account and I hit drive, that is identifying specifically, um, that's identifying specifically my account. So, when you go down here, there's a couple of things you can turn on and turn off. So you can decide if you want your picture or if you want to change your picture to something else. Um, you can also go in here and find any passwords that you have. So again, I've got stuff set up here. And so if I don't remember some of my passwords to a particular website, then I can just type in here kite learning, let's say. And oh. It showed up with kite. There we go. So here's the website. This is my username. And then if I would need to see the password, that way I don't have to go into kite and say, I forgot my password. And then it sends me an email a little bit slow. I can click on show my password and it's going to ask me to log in and use the password that I use to open the lid on my computer. So whatever your login is for that, if you click that, then suddenly you can see the password to kite, okay? And that saves a whole lot of time from having to submit an email. The other things that you can customize here are any privacy and security, so clear history or cookies or cache, as well as um, making it your default browser. Those same things are here. You can either scroll down or you can actually click on them. So I'm going to go down to this default. And right now, Chrome is my default browser. You may get a little menu that says select your default browser. That means that you would, anytime you want to do an internet search, it will go into Chrome. Okay. So here is the search engine. Um, you can add the search engine in the address bar. So typically, people go here and type in what they want to find. Oop. People go in here and type in what they want to find and it goes clear up to um, all of these different smart searches 
and it will take your history and start identifying different things as I typed in teachers. So now I'm going to type in administrators. Um, oh, look, there's an administrator's day in a week. So um, those are different things that you can look up. As well, you can decide what you want on your appearance. So you have your home button or right here, I do have my bookmarks bar, which is right here. All of my very quick links that I always go to, so Dibbles or Aspire or Illuminate, those are um, programs that I go to often. So instead of having to go up here to your bookmark and find your bookmarks, these are the quick links that you could go to. So you want your bookmarks bar to be showing. Let's see, what else do we have? We also have the opportunity to here, there we go. Here's some more. Um, so downloads, this is a good one. Whenever you find a, a PDF or any kind of a file on the web and you want to download that to your computer because you want to reference it or look at it. Um, I right now have that downloading to my downloads file. So when you open up the finder, anything that I've downloaded from the internet is here or even emails that you get. Um, you can ch choose to have it saved somewhere else, but I typically like to have it saved in my downloads, but you can decide where else you want it to, to save. That's about it, but by logging into your, as you, up here in the Chrome browser, which is a little bit different than simply, I'm going to go here, than simply going to a, the open Google thing, um, you'll be able to customize any of your settings for yourself. Thanks.